Who is that? Shahar Zad? Is that you? It is only I, your loyal and humble wife. Forgive me, for the night is long and weary. Without you by my side. Do not stress, my love. I am here and ready to recount another one of my tales. Finally, I am interested to hear of this mysterious world you spoke of the past night. All right. Listen closely, Shariar. There is another universe out there you may or may not know of. It has existed for centuries, hidden away from envious eyes. I have always dreamt of different universes and parallel worlds as a child. What is this one called? No one knows, except for the small godlike beings that inhibit it. All I can tell you is that it is a place where anything is possible. And in one of the many worlds of this mysterious universe, there lived a small, charming adventurer. As a climax for his intrepid life, our friend decided he would embark on one final quest. Excited and persistent, our little friend gathered up all his belongings for an unexpected journey. A long, tiresome journey through the Arabian Peninsula. This adventurer is a fool. Why would anyone make a visit to these dull, wretched lands? Nothing but sand and excruciating heat. Of all the places someone would enjoy visiting. Arabia is not all sand and heat, my love. Some will come here for reasons you might not understand. Ah, uh, perhaps you are right, Shaharazad. Shaharazad, my cleverest sultana. You remain the only wife who has understood me in my seven years of brief marriages. I can see your soul, Shariar. You're not the virgin-killing monster everyone claims you to be. Now, let us go on with our tale. Our friend did not come here for the great weather at all. He came here hoping to discover beautiful cityscapes, towering high above gorgeous expanses of vegetation. He expected a peaceful life, a life different from the one he had been living in the past. Upon arrival at the city of Almiran, our hero was shocked. Corruption had already taken its toll on the once magnificent lands of Arabia.
Oh, 